and I'm doing it for my daughter. Uh, three, weeks? three weeks off. Time to get back to it. Back to business, though. You miss it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel I feel like um, there's that sort of uh, feeling of postpartum depression anytime something is completed. Yeah. And we we completed that and the Mondo Megabits mm. drop at the same time, so it was kind of doubly double impact. But that's what uh, Frank Yang talks talked about was um, you know, women uh, come from the factory with the ability to create life which is like their life quest they they have it in them ready ready to rip they just have to do just insert and it and it comes out and uh, men to men to achieve the same thing you have to do all this crazy bullshit in your own mouth well that too you have to do self fuck on the wall you do self then you have to make art is what he was what he said really that's that's man's man's way of creating life which is inferior is creating art huh by any means necessary? Yeah, and, and the word art meaning whatever you want it to mean. Not, Culinary not, art. Not meaning fucking a painting. It just means whatever it is that your life quest is. That's what your that's what your creation is. So when you finish something, you get a feeling that you get the same feeling that women do after they give birth sometimes, which is postpartum depression. I don't, do you remember how you felt after World Peace was done? Yeah. I felt pretty drained. Yeah, I wanted to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. So that's kind of how I felt for the past... Uh, no, not well. That's why. That's why I felt for a few days after. I mean, I'm I'm older now, and I'm get I've gotten better at uh, tamp uh, tamping down those um, sensations. So that only affected me for maybe four days. But now I'm I got to start working out again. I'm gonna get fat. Managing expectations and having um and realizing that there's never any champagne popping moment in most of the things that you do creatively is a very fucking depressing reality. That's a big one. And I remember back when we were in our twenties, you were. You, I know, I know that you wanted that champagne popping moment, and it just never came. And I could have used it as well, mm. and it did never come. It, it I Can you had believe things, that. No, isn't that crazy? There's never anything that was like, oh shit, this is it. I thought it was. I I popped the champagne myself five times in my own head. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, when we like met Will Sasso, I was like, oh well, obviously we're gonna be movie stars now. Yeah, man. <laughs> I just met Will Sasso and shot a video with him, so clearly I'm gonna be fucking famous tomorrow. Yeah. When the New York Times calls, what am I going to say? Mm. But that's that's crazy, though. That's crazy. Yeah, there's never a moment where you get to kind of enjoy, honestly, in anything. Yeah. Other than children, for me, because it was great. Children is very champagne popping. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like, all the things, all, like, even, like, finishing houses and selling houses and, like, getting the money. Yeah. Because, like, okay, you sell a house. Like, I sold a house before I made a bunch of money on one. Yeah. And, like, oh, it's cool. I made, like, 130 grand on this yeah. fucking thing and just sat there. You don't get the check the day you sign the paper. Yeah. It comes like three days later, mm -hmm. and you're like, "Should I have sold it?" Yeah. Like I don't feel any different, mm -hmm. you know. And or like when the show was done, we we're like, "Oh wow, we did the show! Holy shit, that was like wow! What a shit we just took! What a voyage! It took so fucking long, three mm -hmm. years, three years of work, living away from your family, and you know, living with dudes for fucking four months at a time, and mm -hmm. just everybody just being haywire and in, in their own head. Pain. Yeah, full pain. Here's ninety grand. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Go home now. Yeah. Hung over, dried out, sucked clean. Mm -hmm. Every good, funny thing you had in your head, you dumped. Mm -hmm. You know, like you left it. You left it all out on the field. Mm -hmm. And you're like. Pfft. And this isn't even talking about the cancellation. This is just finishing the, the product. Yeah, this is like the good part. Yeah. The, 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 the... And I don't, I don't think we need to even talk about the cancellation because it's what we're talking about is the lack of, like the, the, um, just the. The in life, your expectations and the the like the climax that you anticipate yeah. not being there. If you really think that certain things are going to be like that, it's going to be a big down. I I I I'm precautionary to dudes that don't know a thing. Like it's things that you think are going to be the shit. Mm -hmm. Like oh, this is going to be so fat, mm. and you're like, dude, it's not. Yeah. Or it's not. That's not. It's not. It could be, but like, don't don't. But that that your that reaction. It's going to be so fat. Is going to be spread out over one and a half years, yeah. And it's going to be, it's going to come with a lot of various price tags that you didn't anticipate. Yeah, in micro doses yeah. that you didn't think, and then you really that you should that you should discount when you're trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or or whatever. Yeah, when you're trying when to... you're trying to fucking pick out what kind of sandwich you want that day, that's when you have to do this thing that's going to be mildly irritating. Yeah. 
and make the whole experience not worth it. Like, oh, in the end of the day, that was a lot of hours, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And there was zero upside or enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Or the parts were, didn't, it didn't just didn't, the juice wasn't I went through squeeze. a lot of gas money. Like that type of shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know when, like, uh, the people, people who complain about that type of thing. Yeah. But it's like, at the end of the day, after you do all this, that's what you're left with sometimes is like, man, I went through, I lost two of my favorite t-shirts. <laughs> Like that type of that shit. That sucked. Yeah, I can't even find him anywhere. Yeah. Now I'm gonna think I could have called the Airbnb that I stayed at. Yeah. But uh. you know what? <clears throat> so there's a there's an upside to this, and I don't know if you do this, but this is what I would say to people: is um, like uh, look, make sure that you, um, you have to you have to learn to enjoy the work and the and the process and the uh, like. Yeah. Be aware of the fact that the golden era of your life is like the the one that you're in right now. Like you're going to be looking back on mm. your current experience. Like you're outside of 7-Eleven. You're like, it's 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. you're, you're miserable. You're all messed up. You're listening to this podcast like one AirPod, like one busted headphone. Like you're... The the Seven Eleven hot dogs you're eating right now that's like the the icon of the golden era of your life that you're gonna be looking back on and it's a good thing I'm not saying this is like a depressing thing I'm saying you gotta you have to learn to enjoy the struggle because that's that's all that there really is like you gotta I'm, smell the roses I'm 37 and I I don't have like a, I don't have a fireplace I don't I don't have a dope car like I don't I don't have like a a lawn where I can like kick my feet up. Or whatever, and even if I did, like you have a lawn, you have a fireplace. You're not there right now, kicking your feet up. No, you know what I mean. Oh, I'm cutting. I'm worried that I can't cut the grass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, soon yeah. Enough. <laughs> I, uh... So it's like you have to the enjoyment that you get. You have to take it from. You got to take it from something. You got to you got to take it from the moments that you get. I was cutting my grass here. You can't day. just wait for it. You 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 have to take it or find like something that you especially honestly because guys are gonna try so much shit. Mm -hmm. Guys just try a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. I'm a woodworker. I'm a fucking bourbon aficionado. Mm -hmm. I'm a cigar guy. I'm a fucking arson remote control car. Like guys are just fucking master hobbyists. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna get into like home, the home and the dwelling. Mm -hmm. I'm a home repair man. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find something that you're good at. Mm -hmm. One thing, maybe you hang pictures good. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're good with like hardware. Mm -hmm. Some people are good, like you might be good with hardware. You might be good at home automation, mm -hmm. like literally, like really good at it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm really good at cutting the grass. I was cutting the grass the other day, and I said to myself, "I don't know if it gets any better than this." I swear to God, it doesn't. It was like 10 o'clock in the That's morning. That's crazy. I had a, like a large iced coffee mm -hmm. that I made in my like Takaya brew. Mm -hmm. I had a fucking joint in my. I was smoking a joint. It was like 10:30. Mm -hmm. I had for some reason I had my watch on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, just having this goomba moment. I was like, mm -hmm. look at this. It's a fucking nice day. Yeah. It's fucking beautiful out. I'm cutting crisp lines in my beautiful green grass that didn't fuck me over in the end of the year. It was crisp yellow. Mm -hmm. Came back, it's green again. I'm cutting every day. Mm -hmm. I put a ton of fertilizer down. And I'm just a boomer idiot, and I get it. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have, I had to go to the gym in three hours. Yeah. You have to you have to take you have to squeeze that shit out of your life because mm -hmm. you're not gonna get a you're not gonna get another life you're probably not gonna get a better life you're probably gonna like you're not gonna be a millionaire <laughs> you're probably yeah, gonna I'm be, not a I'm not a millionaire like you, gotta, happens, you know yeah you are you gotta but you have to like re uh, relentlessly don't tell them I'm fucking my father's money squeeze this shit out of your life. Like you have yeah, to you find, have to find the happy. enjoyment, and whether it's like even if it wasn't that, even if it was a shitty day, like you mm. you got to find you got to find the thing that um, maybe it taught you won't do it again in a shitty day. But maybe you have to find maybe you have to find the enjoyment cutting yeah. your grass on a shitty day. Like you have yeah. to, you have to. Oh yeah, I, I have to do it thirty times a year. You know what I mean? It's like it has to be done. I have people coming over. It's, it's just, but I enjoy it. After that, I've been hanging out with people and spending time, like, all those meetings and shit, like the normal. Like, I want to have you over for, I made buffalo tenders from mm -hmm. scratch. Because I'm, like, fucking fat. <laughs> like, you should come over my house for some scratch healthy buffalo, honey buffalo tenders or some mm. fucking shit. I, mean, I don't remember what it was. It was delicious. That sounds good. Uh, I don't know. But, like, this whole summer, it was really hot. Yeah. And I was driving the Ram around, which doesn't have AC, 
and it has cloth seats. And I was going to the I was going to the boxing gym followed by the sauna. So I was like soaking the seat in this truck. Like yes, yeah. there's there's been so much of my liquid that's gone through the seat of that truck. That's your truck now. And it's like my the summer was like compl- like be up to going up to the fight it was like completely gruelingly miserable. Like I'd come in here, I'd squeeze shirts out. You saw me, Joe. You saw me do this, where I'd come in with like a fun, like look like, look like I was in the shower, and I'd squeeze my shirt out on the floor in here, and say that say stuff like yes, believe it or not, Dominican women too, <laughs> like that sort of thing is what I was saying. But I was I was and uh you know. The boxing training is so miserable. It's like the worst. It's like the worst thing ever. Getting bopped. Yeah, but I was finding I was finding enjoyment in all that stuff. Like I was able to take these miserable days and find anything specific that you remember that you were doing that a was way new? to enjoy it. It was just like a, like what would be what would be enjoyable? Just the feeling of like just the feeling of heat, hmm. like being wet and um, giving it. Like I hate being wet. But like giving into it, like there's no way I'm not gonna be not wet right now. Like I have to just ignore this and just I'm wet. Like walking just, in the rain. It's what it is. I'm fucking soaked wet, and all my shit stinks. What am I gonna do about it? And then from there, like getting, enjoying the heat, being like, ah, you know what? This is hot as fuck. I kind of like this. It's like Haiti. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice yes. up here. It's nice down here in it's Haiti. Like Haiti, <laughs> that type of thing. Where's Laura Silsby? I got a shipping container to fill up. Mm-hmm. Or just enjoying like muscle soreness or the mm. process, the work, enjoying the work. Muscle soreness is a uh, craveable. Yeah, it's really good. But that's that's my that's my point, and I think your point too is that you have you can't the moment like thinking about how in ten years you're going to be eyed. That's not what you're not going to be eyed in ten years. No, it never it never happens. It never happens. You get it gets different, but you never you're never going to be you're not going to be different. That, like, you just get older and no one really figured this out thing that was, like, a big, like, echo chamber shit from, like, 2007 movies, like, Judd Apatow movies. Mm. Like, so, dude, you just, you, everybody just grows up and no one tells you how to do it. Yeah. That old, like, Reddit thread. So you got to start, you got to start enjoying your life now, even when it's miserable. You have to learn where to get, pull the enjoyment from. Hanging out with people is a lot better, though, man. Yeah. I've been, like, I had to find, like, I, I blew off people that I didn't, I didn't mean to blow them off. I was just working. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm not working, I was like, oh, I gotta have beers with these people, and you just go have the beers with like the normal, the people you wanted to have beers with. You know mm-hmm. who you, you know who they are mm-hmm. in your own life. Like I had to fucking meet up with this, and I've been cracking the fuck up. It's mm-hmm. like awesome. I'm like just, you put, I don't know if we're like sharp because we're on podcasts conversationally, but shit that the shit that comes out of people's mouths is so fucking funny, man. Mm-hmm. Like damn, that's so fucking crazy. I love it. Like I'm just I'm, I'm really recharged by people lately. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. It's like a. I don't know. Not everybody's gonna have like the wildest shit, mm-hmm. you know. It, it doesn't have to be wild. It's just yeah. something, something slightly absurd. Yeah, some anecdotal bullshit, which is it. everywhere in Rhode Island. Yeah, like it's just you. You'll pick it up in a story about like gravel. Like there'll yeah. be something there that's like, oh, that's that's fucking extremely surreal. Yep. Like, and it's literally, and it's leg- and it's not that you're like, it's not that you're entertained the same way that someone who goes on like reddit slash mildly interesting is entertained it's that there's it's that there's aspects of stories like that that if you're paying attention are more absurd than like any movie you've ever seen yeah because it's, it's real 